Okay, guys, got a project finishing up here that I started a year ago. This is a 3240 Ives one gauge that I bought a year ago from Stout's Auction. Um, I wish I had the pictures to show you what the, the motor unit was in, uh, the shape it was in. It was absolutely positively shot. Uh, I had Joe Mena completely rebuild this thing and I just got it back uh, just three days ago and I finally got it put into the uh, the shell and I got the wiring taken care of uh, for the headlights. Now back in the day the lighting ran through these these coils and as I understand it these coils kept the electricity constant so you didn't burn the light bulbs out. It, it, it's believe it or not it's a hell of a mess in there. So, of course, when I set it up and started to run it, uh, you would have thought the devil was inside there with the sparks and the smoke and everything else. So, I cut that loose. I just disconnected it. And it's extremely difficult to, to try and rewire it. So, I slipped um, uh, shrink tubing on it, slid it all up in there, spliced it all together. The white, uh, uh, the white lead is from the motor itself. And uh, we got her put together, and it runs really, really good. And the lights work. And I like the uh, the crazy effect. It's something that some kid would have probably had done back in the day. These are big globes out of a um, uh, uh, out of a street out of a street light. Uh, I, they've got it for some reason. They got a little bit thicker base than the clear ones, and they hold in there better. And I don't get any flickering. So that's uh, that's what I'm going to go with. But anyhow. Pulling my uh, my Bing cars, and uh, we'll give it a quick run. Oh, by the way, he completely went through the reverse unit, and it even works because most of these things uh, I just bypass the uh, reverse unit. Who's going to run them backwards anyhow? We don't have automatic coupling, so here we go. I won't run it too fast because I'm always afraid with this uh, with this uh, um, elevated that. Uh, They'll take a header off on the floor. But I'm well pleased with it. Joe did one hell of a job. This is only the third time around the track. But notice how smooth it is. So we'll go ahead and we'll... Uh, We'll insulate uh, where the wires are all coming together there. I'll put a piece of shrink tubing on it, heat it, and it will be fine. And then, uh, actually, it's not got uh, too bad of a, an original roof. It's got some uh, dings on it, but it's still got the pinstriping. It's not bad shape. Uh, and cosmetically, as far as the body and stuff goes, really nice. Still got its original side chains and, and, and all that other stuff. So... Uh, we're uh, we're looking uh, looking forward to, to doing some running with this and and her baby sister down here. Oh, tripping on the damn cord to the uh, transformer. The thirty two thirty nine. I've had this for a long time. Well, yeah, about five or six years, seven. Actually, I ought to have Joe go through it. It runs it runs well, but I got a feeling that it is also tired on the inside. But. Uh, uh, I won't mess with it as long as it's running. That'd be fine. But I wish, and it runs smooth. Don't get me wrong; it really does. But uh, uh, the other one is uh, is a whole lot better, I think. So there you are. Uh, stay tuned. We got more uh, some more stuff coming.